The student debt debate continues, and if you're hoping the government will forgive all of your student loans, think again. At a CNN town hall, President Biden said he would not sign an executive order for $50,000 in student debt relief, saying $10,000 would be more appropriate, and he wants Congress to pass the plan. For a lot of people, $10,000 is the, the bulk of the debt that they have left to pay, um, but it also doesn't look like you're giving you're forgiving a bunch of debt for doctors or people who uh, took a lot of debt out to get an MBA and are making a lot of money. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Elizabeth Warren say $10,000 simply isn't enough. $50,000 has more of an effect than $10,000, but it's also obviously five times as much money coming out of the federal treasury, uh, and that could have other effects that, that, you know, that might crowd out spending on something else. Both parties agree student debt is a crisis. Studies reveal it exceeds credit card debt and comes in second only to home mortgages. There's more than a trillion dollars of outstanding student debt, and it's holding them back in terms of being able to buy a house, uh, being able to go to graduate school. Um, maybe it's affecting you know what, what they can do with their kids, and so that debt is really a, a, a big burden. However, over the weekend, the Democrat-controlled House passed their $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, dubbed the American Rescue Plan but student debt relief wasn't on it. Senators Schumer and Warren released statements promising to continue fighting for student debt relief, but its future remains unclear. The president says he is looking into other ways of relieving the student debt crisis, specifically free community college and earning debt forgiveness through volunteer work.